Hey, so my How about joining our band? <laughs> Black pudding, you with any hangover. Eternal fire for Texas. Holt, you there? Please wait. You're Geralt of Rivia, are you not? <sighs> Depends who's asking. Revenue and customs for occupied Tamaria, Dorian branch, represented by yours truly, Deputy Tax Enumerator, Walter Mormite. Honored, I guess. What seems to be the problem? In brief, undeclared income. Excuse me? We've had reports, numerous, that over the last month you've come into a great deal of coin. Quickly. So quickly it's raised suspicions. Don't you have anything better to do? Not at the moment. Make no mistake. You cannot evade this. You must answer my questions promptly and in full. Profession? Witcher. Monster Slayer. Hmm. Sole proprietorship, service sector. Type of service is rendered, rat pest monster removal. Moving on. Have you at any time engaged in the wholesale trade of rawhide in the White Orchard area? This some kind of joke? Of course not. Right. Next. During the current fiscal year, have you engaged in the acquisition of bivalves with the express intention of selling the pearls therein? Even if I have, what's wrong with that? Article 86, Section 3 of the Tax Code. Whosoever purchases goods at an unseemly low price to take advantage of the seller's ignorance shall be subject to a fine equaling 200% of the earnings from any such a transaction. Sound familiar? And now, please answer. Have you or have you not dealt in said pearls? No, never done anything of the sort. Witcher's honor. Now, for the final question. Have you ever unlawfully acquired another man's movable goods? Chattels? Hmm. Meaning? Ah. Oh, a meaning? Have you ever waltzed into someone's home and taken something without their permission? Gotta be kidding. The Witcher's Code forbids it. I'm pleased to hear you abide by your guild's bylaws. Now, if you could wait for one moment. Compare column B to table seven. Apply the rate for confirmed childless bachelors, a tax credit of 7.3% for practitioners of hazardous professions. It adds up to the crown. I say, good sir, you are exceptionally upstanding. It'd be rude to disagree. In these times, such Civic virtue is a rarity. It must be commended. Rewarded. Here. Well, what's this? A diploma. I bestow on you the title of taxpayer in good standing. I'd suggest you frame it. Hang it in a place of honour. Congratulations. Paper, please. In a bottle of ink. Oh, I I'm out of paper. Requisitioned by the army to support the war effort. <laughs> paper. The war effort. Eternal fire. All those announcements, all those decrees must I appear. I remind you, a soldier's to stand erect. Test. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. 
make an exception. That's the smart thing to do. Threats don't scare me. I've sworn to serve Redania till death do us part, and I'll keep my oath with a song on my lips. Careful, bugger means it. God, eh? Mata Redania, truly fecunda nubili. Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from. Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But... My orders... Fuck your orders! Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention! Shut your giggy! Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sot it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Just night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid often horsed a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van de Nuur and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little a keep his soul. But Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only have a collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Egg, white gold, and the mother of Geralt, you thought of buying real estate? Could get to your attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Max? Come on. You know damn well that makes no sense. Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah! It won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So. Ready to charge someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> oh. Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. 
Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin. What now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations. Dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Didn't you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Veda Maniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece. What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horseball Sodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. I believe I'll bid on that corbet. You did mm. Some spilled wine. Nothing else. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? 
He was a tinge shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he? If you don't mind my asking. Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece, the start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old, and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Funny! Duke Clivet declared bankruptcy by that ring on his finger. Shite, is it fat? Halbert! It's been years. Allow me to introduce you. Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helmut. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, may I have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, since I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. A finder's fee of sorts, okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin than a stink. So, what'll it be? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? Don't push it, Vimy. All right. Game on.
Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have or something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Afore Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. I've not seen you before among the well healed. Your grey mane huh? really does suit you. Yaramir, uh, might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. <laughs> ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Noob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Noob, the master from Maribor. Really? Merchant with the pearl. No two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roo is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, as his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. I think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friends beckon. <laughs> So, what did he tell you? Uh, nothing special. Truly? Huh. Shame, that. All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my heed in. Huh. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways. Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Horst Posodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ah! I knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumour has it the figure harbours a treasure inside. 
a rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice, and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes at 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold! Van Rose Starry Night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. <laughs> Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacles. A frame of gold. Mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny, dexterous hands of the gnome masters. What's the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor? Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Incredible. With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once, going twice. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look! Horst Basudi! Come on, afford some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. <laughs> Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who... Comes uninvited. I forgot my manners. Forgive me. The teaching at Kaer Morin, well, etiquette wasn't high on the list. Scandalous. Hmm. That's plain to see. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to- What's one like you want from one like me? Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it- What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Amelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Well, guys, going Not good. Down. Yeah! 
Virginia! Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. Hmm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Go on the others. Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Good for you. But why come at me about it? Because it's a Van Roe. Heard you might... A Van Roe? I'll take it. Now, where's me purse? I haven't much just now. But I'll add a bit of loot. Another witch I left it as collateral. What was his name? Guillotine? That's so. Interesting. Thanks.
Devil's dick, every man jack off yet. The world's never-ending creation be praised. Brought you more coin. Put it towards better equipment. Thanks in the thousands. Too kind you are to me, truly. Your work's worth the coin. Hard at work. Good to see. Ah, yes. Commissioned have I tools. A fitting set from Novigrad crafters. Many arms and legs they charged, but renew my work in earnest I now can. New runes, glyphs, and diagrams created I have. An eye you should cast. Find one to your liking, perchance. So, nothing holding you back now. From making mastercrafted runes, you mean? Much more coin I will need to do so, sadly. Got a bit more coin for you. Better be all you need. For tools it is enough, but ingredients rare also I recall. Nope, not gonna happen. Now let me see what my coins bought. Have I all I require? Sure about that? My running costs to cover small sums will suffice. And no more rare stones do I need. Almost too good to be true. A cask of wine from the homeland I have. Our mutual success we should toast. Your health. For your aid, I thank you. My newest creations to examine you may wish. Invited you are to do so. Wouldn't mind a glance at what you got.
Thanks. So long. That's it, Roach. Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, I'm the precise. You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please.
You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Before we go any further, do you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the oceans, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, and then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower to drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, but a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I. Well, that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition, no one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering round, we could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorite Eveline Gallo. A circus artist known better as the Ermin. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenford. Her specialities. Rhythmic gymnastics. Time breaking. Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felt monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cop from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the half man. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Novograd gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novograd to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Vault door for him should be a cinch. 
problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Aldous. My plane turns down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safe cracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris. A prick mercenary. As far as I know, his troops made camp east of Oxenfurt on the right bank of the Pontar. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spy the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, I'd say. Not to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Grew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. Let me have a look. So long.
Let's go! the hurry. Master Casimir, toss aside the torch, you guts! Ah! Piss off, then! Fuck off! You'll not tell me what to do! Wh what's going on here? In deep play, Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. Boy, the wind's pearls, salt, satins, and how the fuck she repaid me? Made me a heat banger, cuckold! Huh. A falling out in the family? Aye. His Euphemia. She were fine. Pretty as a picture, you might say. And five bairns they has. On the short side, but so well mannered. Always bow, ask after your health. Not at all grumpy like the Elderman's laddies. Till the day Euphemia bundled up her belongings and their bairns, tossed them all on a wagon, and that's all we've seen of her. Master Chasm has been pure yampy since. Balling, whinging, now this. Ah, this'll be one for the ploughing annals. Going out with a bang. When this fucking blows, they'll see the fires in Novigrad. I'll try to talk some sense into him. But if he should grow angered? The wench demanded a canopied bed and got it. Silver tableware, she said. Got that too. Lacking nothing. Not a thing. What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail, my little, our hallowed mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lightly come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. No, I just... Postmaster said the same, denied it all, swore on the balls of his gods, and the eager I am, I believed the bugger. Three years they bumped about under my nose, then ran off! My granda told it right, not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters. Get down, now. What? Oh. Coming. I'm coming. So, uh, what is it you wanted? Want you to open a door, permanently, so it won't close again. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one, to be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now, now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? Out of the herbalist who lives near Oxenfurt. Go there and ask for yarrow extract. Learn all you need to know. Clear. As a Mahakaman Highland Stream. See ya!
back under your rock. Long live existence. Oh, I feel like I'm puking after that swill in the canteen. Hey, anyone in there? Blood. Hmm, this does not look good. Blood. Someone knocked their head on this beam. Open cut. Prince. Redania. You're gonna make me wait. about it. Gotta find Eveline. Seen better. Heard he finally met his match. Some cook.
Move it. Come on. Faster. The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. You Eveline Gallo, the Ermine. Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you, talk. What do you want? I'd rather talk eye to eye. Eveline conceals nothing from me, and... And you were to help set up the benches. Immediately. Uh, but... Very well. Once again, what do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. All right. Out with it. What's this problem? See... We were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits. So either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we not spent it already. <sighs> I think I know where this is going. And I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Me now? No rehearsals? What's there to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobindon. What? But I... Shh! Geralt! Grab your crossbow and get to work! What's the point? Shoot! Feet by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? 
Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher. What do you have to say? Lance Corporal Vatslav. How'd that prick wind up with us? Volunteered. Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. He mad or what? And that's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass the tests apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army. I thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. Ooh! have to say. That, uh, horse is poor Sophie. You got a daughter? Why do you ask? Well, think on it. To marry into a dynasty like that, it'd be like living in Clover. Trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the Basodis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm, nothing interesting. What do you have to say? This chowder for supper the day. That true? We told you no one. Came through the western gate the morn. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook like that's the right treasure he is. Nope. Cook like that's the right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just the gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah, aye. If only you'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Here, near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. cook. Good day. Fish biting? Aye, they're biting. What about you? 
What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Asking a lot. Too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye. I'll help. Out of kindness. Wait for the signal. And mum's the word. Understood? And mighty miss be midst the unattached. I am. The only for a wee spell now. Is that so? Impossible. Only a fool would loosen their hold on a mate like you. Ah, at last. We're all here. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. Or so these auction house, his vault. That's our target. Everline, you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, as I know. It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any yards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Casimir blows the vault door. We go in, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Additional security measures. Traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. And the vault? Is it secured somehow? Even if it is, my blend of salt, peter, cordite, and fulminating silver will do the trick. Anything else? Hmm. All good and fine, except what if something goes wrong? Seriously. You're on your own. We all are. Just like that? No room for friendship in this business. Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm -hmm. 
Great. Aye, but you could. Find that location. I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? All right, let's get to work. Want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about Mars? He's got a rather recognizable mug myself. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the city watch. Blabber anything about this over an ale. And I'll kill you. With my own hands. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way, then. <laughs> Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Eveline. You ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. Bugger all, you said there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. must be old. String seems to say so too.
it was true love. Clear for now. Knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back here, heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. Not now. The vault. That's our target. Is that clear? Yes, but we shall raise the starting pr Watch this! Guards! Guards! Well, that's that. We're buggered. You said... I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. to flee. Chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in. One, two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die. Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? There's a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that! You can, just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide, kill a hostage? Just do what they want! I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself! No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. So we want a wagon, and horses. It's the middle of the night. Where am I to find a wagon? Rather go looking for caskets? <laughs> he means it! Good point. A wagon, then? What kind? We're not picky. Any old cart, long as it has wheels that roll. All right. I'll get it done. In exchange, you must release the hostages. How many? All of them. Not your lucky day. Oh. 
That fight could have done without both. That explosion gets us in the vault. Where's Eveline? Just fled. All the better. Fewer hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. Fine whoop that was. A wee bit loud, aye, on account I had to add more fulminating silver than usual, but... Uh... I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move. We've no time. You're fucking with. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah, you all. Greetings, brother. Been years. Stone me stupid and slap me happy. Should have known. Same eyes, same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. And it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Hmm, no takers? No sale. Oh, we'll take whatever we please. Once we've ripped your runners from your ass. Hallowed words, mate. Adam! Devil! Slice them! Slice the ball back! Stay in formation!
I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you. Mercy. For your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. Fold in your own. Then walk out as you stand with just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Bang. Like a beast. And you've the cheek. To plead! Take that! Satisfied? Exceptionally! You? No, and I won't be until I find Max Bersotti's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas. But he's free to choose anything else. Gents. Gents. Keep calm. Don't provoke me. Never know. Might choose to take your head. You're wounded. Tired. Figure my chances are good. I could drop you easily, but maybe I don't have to. We could try to figure this out. A compromise looks unlikely. We both want Max's house. Not quite. You just need the contents. Me, the box. The downstairs! So be it. Seal it with a handshake. Oof! That's a load off my prick! Give me the damn casket, and let's get out of here. As you wish. This way. Well, here's where our paths part. Shut up. Was I that bad? No, but you came awfully close, Ewald. Survived by a hair. Take care, Casimir. Here's hoping Euphemia sees the light, comes back. Oh, 
supply our moods and ayers. With the gold I've got, love just ain't nothing I need. <laughs> In that case, you and your coin purse live happily ever after. Joke to death on three pounds of steel. Your kind spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. <laughs> What a pickle. For a herring. Crown at the guests, fish <laughs> and bloomers. All Need to chat. I'm all ears, Witcher. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, right, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Brasoli's house, as requested. Papers. Where are they? Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. You're a quick study. Already as tricky as Odim himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? Dunno. Ask for legal advice? Looks to me like you might need some. You signed the contract, old Geard. I'm just fulfilling its terms, to the letter. Unhappy? Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes, I should have. 
I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Made a deal with his brother, who then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder. Huh. <laughs> it's progress. Why did you even need those papers? To sink the boss soldiers, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellaté. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Vilmeria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aim to deliver those papers to the right hands. Borsodi would have landed in the streets. The hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tankard. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? I will say to something, then we'll chat. You there, yank the herring out the barrel. Come on, none of this dallying. Ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood? I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me, and don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. 
Dear Fury believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. Afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Aye, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dauntless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt.